Hello, welcome. Let me get this straightened out a little bit. Maybe go back up a little bit. There we go. How are you? 907 Crafty Life. And anyone else that might come in. We'll give it a few minutes here. Sorry. I thought I had a little bit more time than I did. <laughs> oh, well. Good thing I have alarms I can set off, right? How's... Hopefully we'll get some more people. I usually do go on Thursdays at 7. I only really have one announcement. Um, well, it's related, but the paper pumpkin still has not billed for January, which is the hugs and kisses, I believe. The next one to sign up for by the 10th of February is Safari Celebration. Looks like it's got monkeys or apes and uh, maybe a moose and an elephant or something and it makes cards uh, nine cards and coordinating envelopes and it's sort of a, a fun one um, and it does use in colors from both the in color collections 2020 to 2022 and 21 to 23 so it looks like two items from the 21 to 23, looks like these two. And then the bumblebee, it looks like the color for the 20 to 22 one. So yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, if you're not already signed up, I'd love to have you. Celebration time is a great time to sign up for Paper Pumpkin because if you do the prepay, you can earn free items. Hi, honeybees, welcome. How are you doing? It is uh, actually warm for winter here today. It was 47 Fahrenheit, which is quite unusual in um, January. But I'll take it because tomorrow is going to drop a little bit, but still be nice. And then we're going to drop to like on Friday or something. So I don't know. Anyway, hi, Nick. Now, are you in the States still? I shouldn't ask this in public. Sorry, you confused me with your answer. Anyway, Paper Pumpkin, um, sign up before February 8th or 10th, excuse me, for that um, Safari kit. All right, we're going to be using for the first two cards. Let me see if I can get them without dropping everything because they're on the floor. I'm... <laughs> And at the end, if you stick around to the end, I got a box today and I haven't opened it yet. Some new things in there uh, that are not, they're like uh, an early release and also some um, current release. We're going to be using amazing silhouettes for the first two cards. We'll use this on the first one and this on the second one. And on the first one, we'll be using the thanks uh, out of the amazing thanks dies. This is a bundle in the mini catalog on page 40, the January to June mini catalog. I did not use tonight the you are amazing dies. I only used the thanks, but those are also in there. And on the second card, we'll use the special moment celebration. I can't remember what I use, so we'll have to wait till we get there. <laughs> and on the second card, I think also we'll use this Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. So let me move these out of the way for now um, and put them back on my floor. Okay. Oh, okay. A few more months. Awesome. Okay. So let me get this back out here. This is the first card. Um, the paper that it uses, if I can unbury it, I have so much stuff pulled off my shelves to use for various things right now. It's unbelievable. Anyway, the paper that we're using is from the hand penned out of the annual catalog. It's this side that has um, mint macaron, Pool Party, Garden Green, and Cinnamon Cider, and White. So this is Mint Macaron. And what I did is I cut, this, this is a um, 
four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. So it's a vertical card. Um, I actually misspoke. And then I cut the paper to be uh, four by five and a half. So it goes all the way to the length and just has two little strips of the mint macaron showing. And then I used, which I always forget I have these, the paper lattice. These are in the annual catalog to give it some texture. And then we stamped and, um, and that I stamped right on mint macaron with garden green. So let me get the bits and bobs and we'll get started on this card. Hi, Clay. Welcome. That's cool to hear, Nick. I'm glad you're still here with us. All right. So this piece I cut down after I stamped it to two inches, but I cut this one wider to two and a quarter so that the whole stamp would fit on it. I've already pre-cut things. And this can just get, let me get this piece out of here too. This can just get um, glued down. Again, it's five and a half by four. Normally, I cut them down to like five and a quarter, but I didn't do that tonight. <laughs> now, you could uh, do like a stripe of this and then this also, but it, it made it too busy with the lattice and stuff already on there. I, I tried a couple different things and um, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing okay. I went for a walk today. Today is Thursday, but I didn't get really my exercise in at all yesterday. So, in fact, I've been really bad about that, except um, Saturday night, I got to go to a, a famous garden around here with my daughter and walk around and see the lights, and it was 23 degrees out, <laughs> but it was worth it. All right, I'm going to use my seal. This is going to go just in here a little... Uh, I guess I centered that pretty well. So this actually is five inches um, by, I guess, probably three and a half or four. Anyway, I'm not going to fuss too much with it, but I am going to put a couple strips, strips of this down where approximately where the mint macaron piece that we're going to stamp on will go and hope that that holds it in place. If I need more, I will put a glue dot under there. I'll sneak it in later. All right, so now we're going to stamp. This is the stamp, and I'm going to use Garden Green on Mint Macaron. Nix has family, well, husband family in India, so... I'm going to miss her. Well, you could still be on YouTube, though, right? Sometimes the time difference is probably really wacky. And um, I might have I might have put that. I might have to do that over again because I might have dropped it before I wanted to. <laughs> anyway, you just can't order, obviously, from here. Oh, I did it perfectly. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to clean it right away. Um, now, if you wanted to, you could actually, like I did on some previous cards, you could get your mint macaron markers and actually color in all this stuff and make it pop a little more. But I, this has a lot of little petals and I did not want to do that tonight. That's why I stamped it on the mint macaron to begin with, with the little slightly darker color. <laughs> All right, so now we can just, I'm going to do the same thing. I don't usually use seal, but I think it'll, um, I don't use it a lot for this kind of thing anyway. I think it'll work with the lattice there. And again, if I need um, any extra, I'll put a glue dot or so in to hold it on. But it doesn't really take much to hold it on, right? Did I get that on crooked? A little bit. Oh, well. And I'm just coming over to just to a little bit to the right of this first um, 
row of dots on the lattice. I'm centering it actually a little bit. So that's that. And then the dies are really amazing. They are amazing. It's a shadow die and a regular die, as you can see here. So what I used is cinnamon cider. You could also use the craft paper that we have that uh, carried over from somewhere. But what I did is I took our adhesive back sheets and I just cut a strip across and put it on a piece of about one and a quarter inch uh, white scrap that I had. And um, I have to try and get it off now. But I did not do that on the cinnamon cider because that is thick enough that we can actually get dimensionals and on that. And so I really like that about these. Um, and I guess I could just scrap this, right? <laughs> I thought originally I could, you know, use it on a card, but I don't know that people would be. I might save that. I'll save that in with my amazing silhouette stamps. Cool. Thanks, Nix. That'll be neat. All right, let me get my pointy take your pick tool. Thank you for the thumbs ups. Greatly appreciated. I really need to get my viewership up and um, the length of time that people view up. Because um, it seems like my average view time overall is like 10 to 15 minutes. And, you know, these things, the lives especially, last at least an hour, sometimes two. So that's not really a good ratio. And it's a little discouraging. I know people have stuff to do, too. I'm trying to get this off, and now the sticky one part is stuck to my thumb. There we go. All right, so now we're going to stick that onto here carefully. The first time I did this, I used the wet glue, and it worked, but I thought, why am I doing that when I have adhesive back sheets that Stampin' Up! sells? They're a little tricky, but there you go. Now, we're going to get out regular and um, mini dimensionals. I'm going to start with the minis. I think. Well, I'll start with the big because there's less of them. The big one can go right here and it'll fit nicely and I didn't want the backing off yet. And I really went and put them on everywhere to make it sturdy. <laughs> like here and here there's a spot in the sort of the middle of the S. hope I have some more on this sheet. Yeah, I know. Well, actually, subscribers is not the main thing I've learned. It's actually uh, view time and the likes that get you in the algorithms. I'm going to use um, a cut strip there. And I'm going to cut a couple more along from the edges here, from the small ones, and put them up here i just want the words to be on here sturdy sturdily i don't know is that a word sturdily don't know i didn't cut this one thin enough okay down here i won't bother with that part but i do want another one here okay and i might have to cut that down let me see Nope, it's okay. All right, so now let me peel them off and we'll put them on. So it's a pretty easy card, but I think it turned out really pretty. Some people don't like the silhouette part, but they love the dies. Um, I would definitely use the dies with other things, but I do like the silhouettes. That's kind of a me thing. And they're easy. <laughs> they're easy. Now, the next one I did a little bit different, and I'll share that with you momentarily all right so you can put this anywhere you want but i like it right here at the where the stem of the or the trunk of the tree starts or bush or whatever it is and then uh we have choices for the gems 
I use the Genial Gems, and I actually use the, what's supposed to be Pale Papaya. There is Pale Papaya in this paper, um, and I thought it showed up against the green better, but this is also Mint Macaron, so we could use that, or um, we could use these. Now, this is just Jade, but it goes with it, but I think I like the Shiny Bling better on this card. Right? I know. Simple. It took me a little while to figure it out, but once I got it, it, it really is a simple card to make. Um, and it's really pretty. If you like greens and cinnamon cider, which I do. <laughs> and I'm just going to put a few of these dots. I might put a few more on because I um, thought it was kind of bare looking the first time. And then I think one over here, right in there, maybe. So there, you can put as few or as many on as you want. And then on the inside, um, I actually use that special moments on this card, not the second one. I might have used it on the second, too. I can't remember. I used just a card to say, you are amazing. Just have to figure out what I did with that. Here it is. So this is a celebration set. Um, and it's a really nice one that has a lot of different sentiments on. I believe this is free with a $100 purchase. If you are interested in that. All right, let's stamp. And we're going to stamp in cinnamon cider. Because I think it shows up nicely. Yeah, it, well... Yes, it will look certainly better with an ocean themed, but I'm not big into ocean themes. Um, I, I like to do them sometimes, but I don't know. I think these could look good even without that, but I'll probably use them different ways because <laughs> I like those and I like the new pebbles that we have too. All right, let me stand up and try and get this straight. And these are photopolymer, obviously. All right. I think I do have one out for the next card, too. And then we'll just glue that in. And card number one is finite. Finished. I don't even know if finite is a word. I think so. <laughs> in French. Oops. Sorry. I, got, I have stuff everywhere. So for those that came in a little later at the end... I literally have a box to open that came in the mail today from Stampin' Up. It is my last um, order from the mini catalog and also contains a new release item that I'd like to share with you that I'll probably use next week. Um, I don't know. I kind of went through and scheduled out the next two months of what I wanted to do on Thursdays. And I, I want to do more than I can humanly do so there first card right pretty i like it okay so let me get the next one here Oops, let me get my gems put away because i'm not going to use them on the next one because if i don't they'll get stuck onto the back of some other gems or something and i don't want that to happen okay so the next one goes a different color way still using the amazing silhouettes and this is it so this time i used pale papaya and a standard a2 eight and a half by by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and i used flirty flamingo which i ran through the time worn type and that is um my usual five and a quarter by four and then this piece of paper is actually out of the Celebration Daffodil Afternoon. It is the back of this. Um, I was going to use a different one, but I kind of liked this better. And the different one, this polka dot one, is out of the hand penned petals, which is this on the other side. All right. So, let me see if I already 
Yes, I already embossed this. Now, uh, this is a 3D, so it's just plate one and plate four in our machine. And this is carried over from the Harvest Meadow Suite to 2022. I hope they put that in the new annual because I really like this embossing folder. All right, here's our pale papaya card base. Uh, we're going to use the butterflies. And these we can just glue together and glue down a while. See, this is the embossing on the flirty flamingo. Hi, Marla. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, I, so, you know, I really like these silhouettes. And there's different ways you can use them. And we're, I'll show you what I did with the butterfly one in just a moment. Let's get this put down first. And I do like to use wet glue, or if you don't like to use wet glue, use the Seal Plus or Tear and Tape be, uh, to put emboss things down so they hold longer and better and so forth. Okay. Just rub that for a minute. Now, I think that thinking of you, let me check. The Thinking of You sentiment we're going to stamp also came out of Special Moments, from, which is the celebration set. So let's go ahead and stamp that, and then we'll figure the rest out. Um, I think this is the second largest. You know, I should have written this down. I had it memorized, and I've forgotten. <laughs> because I used something like that in the next. Yeah, second largest scallop circle out of the layering circles, which is item 151770 in the annual. Uh, if they're not available right now, you know, come back another time because they're just not doing back orders right now. All right, we're gonna stamp in Flirty Flamingo. You're happy with the sentiment stamp set? Good, I, I really like it. And so far, everything I've used, which hasn't been a whole lot, um, stamps really well. It does help if you have any trouble with them to have a pad underneath. And I have a, um, a very dirty right now um, cutting mat underneath my paper here. So that helps. But Stampin' Up! All has, also has a piercing mat, which I actually have over here. And I stick my ribbon pins in. <laughs> um, okay, now we're going to... Do the one end of this with the uh, Lovely Labels Pick a Punch, and we're going to use the fancy one. I call it the fancy one. I think it slid on me right at the end there. Yes, it did. I'm going to do it again, see if I can get it centered just a little better. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to leave that out because I think I need to use it on another card. All right. So the next thing, I already stamped this in Flirty Flamingo. And to save you the pain of watching me fussy cut, I'll just let you know I fussy cut this. But we're going to do a treatment to this. Um, we are going to get our blending brush. And our pale papaya. Forgive my arm. Did I miss somebody else? Just Marla. This is our second card of four. So there's no dies for these. So if you want to cut them, you have to fussy cut them. And I, I think this one's small enough and it's really not that hard that even I could do it. I just didn't want to make you sit here and wait while I fussy cut. So I'm going to do that to it to give more of a two, two color kind of thing. And let me wipe my brush off. And then I'm also going to take my pale papaya Stampin' Right marker and just go around the edges because I don't really want the white edges to show where I did the cutting. 
You could also do flirty flamingo, but I think the pale papaya sort of blends in better, but I don't know. In this case, I wanted it to blend. If you wanted it to pop, use your flirty flamingo marker. And if you wanted it to bleed into the center part of the paper, use a Stampin' Rate marker. <laughs> now, these wings, they're not, they don't really stamp that way. I just imagined where they went and kind of cut them that way. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, from the stamp set. Okay. Okay. That's all. That's it. And let me put that away. Okay. This ribbon is our pale papaya. I always forget I have this. Woven ribbon, half inch. It's uh, pale papaya and white. And I cut seven inches. Um, but let's get these together first. I'm going to use a glue dot and stick this on the back of the butterfly thing. Now, when I did this the first time, my idea was that I'd go right into that little slot there. Yeah, that'll work this time again. But then my ribbon kind of looks a little wonky. Like, my butterfly's too crooked, so I need the ribbon to come out this way more. <laughs> So let's see if we can do that. I'm putting the glue dot on the front of the label to stick it in this little indent area here, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to figure out position. I want the words to be sort of straight. Maybe it doesn't have to be. Maybe like that. All right. Let's just glue them together. You'd never know they weren't stamped that way. Oh, I forgot to show you that. Um, see, they're, they're sort of cut off. You can sort of see them, but it doesn't really stamp that part. But on here, you, on the image here, you can sort of see it, but not really. Either that or my eyes are just really bad, which is a possibility. <laughs> that is a possibility. Okay. Now, we're going to put that on this piece that I cut with the layering circle, scallop layering circle, from the hand pen paper. Now, we have to figure out positioning of the ribbon, and I need my, um, I need the glue dots, but I need the dimensionals again, the big ones. All right, so let's do the glue dots first. And I'm just going to make this. I th sort of thought this ribbon looked like, you know, the flight. I could turn it like this and have the thinking of you go like that. But I wanted that more sideways. Oh, well, it's just going to look a little funky. Just going to look a little funky. There, we'll have it be like three maybe. Right. I'm going to put a little bit of seal down right up here. Um, usually I use glue dots, but I'm going to use seal. Now let's see if I did that good. I think that'll be all right, right? And then we'll just put dimensionals on this. And it's a big circle. <laughs> if you wanted to, you could die cut a circle out of the foam adhesive sheets. And save on using so many dimensionals or use some of the edges, the strips on the edges. I used, I don't know, about six. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. So I think like that. All right. And then... We're going to use our little new brass butterfly embellishments that are in the mini catalog that I hope they keep forever and ever and ever because I love them because they're not super dimensional, meaning they don't, they don't raise up so they'll mail easily. And we'll put one here and over here and down here down here somewhere. We'll, we'll just make them be friends there like that. I just used all the big ones on this because I thought they showed up better. 
could put a little one up there too, but I'll conserve them. <laughs> uh, now we are going to stamp on the inside in a second. So these are in the mini catalog. They're on page 15. They're part of the flowering field suite. I don't know if I have that suite, actually. I don't think I have the suite. I think I have bits of it. All right. Um, so let me get the inside part of our card, which is just five and a quarter by four. And do I have this stamp out still? I think I put it away. Hold on. Here it is. And let me get up. Let me rob Peter to pay Paul here. There. And we're going to use, um, let me actually put this other big one away since I have this out. I just stick them back on the, the sheet with the, um, the nice thing about this stamp too is there's only three stamps. So you only have to put stickers on three stamps. <laughs> uh, the ones that are words that are cling drive me a little nuts because I, I do them as I go. Thank you, honeybees. I like it. All right. I need a scrap paper again. I have down here under my desk. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp off. You can see I did it here. Uh, we're going to stamp off twice. Ink it up good. Stamp off once, twice, and then the third time we're going to come over here and just put a little light butterfly. 30 flamingo is a pretty dark color, so you have to stamp off twice. Always test like I did it here to see how pale it would be. This actually came out a little darker than that one did. Um, so anyway, and also you might want to take your chamois. You see, I didn't get it clean down in there when I just rubbed it on my chamois. So I just pick it up and go like that to make sure it stays clean. And I'll probably have inky fingers. And I think that's all I did on the inside. Let me see. Yep. No sentiment on the inside of this one. So let's put that in our card. And that will be card number two. How to jinx something into being discontinued. Oh, well, usually <laughs> everything I like gets discontinued or not everything, but a lot of things. So I'm trying to like trying to use some of the things that were carryovers from before that are in the annual because those are most likely to not be carried over a second time, you know, um, like, for example, oh, I don't know if I should say this. No, I won't say it. There's a stamp set that carried over from a, a mini catalog from a year ago, and uh, I'm using it in my series. In case you guys haven't seen it, I'm doing a Valentine slash Love Card a Day series every day at noon. Started yesterday for the next 14 days. So there's our second card using Amazing Silhouettes. And I already lost the first card. <laughs> oh, here it is. There's our first card for those that came in late. And Mint Macaron garden green and cinnamon cider and these lattice things which are in the annual catalog which I pulled out because I always forget I have them so those are the only two there's another stamp I just didn't get around to using it tonight in the amazing silhouettes and it's this leaf one here but another day another day so I think they came out pretty all right so the next card is going to be pretty easy but fun And it's going to use Sunny Sentiments, which is in the annual, and this sentiment right here. Thought you could use some Sunny Thoughts today. It's also going to be using Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. And it's going to be using a celebration item called Sunshine and Rainbows. And the paper, this is really cool paper, by the way. And I showed this on one of my other videos, but this paper here, we have a cloud punch now. Um, and I strongly suggest people get it because I love it. Here's the number, 157749. 
Um, but these, all these clouds, which I think you get four sheets of, I already used up one. Um, it punches these clouds out, but you can also use it for cardstock, obviously, and things. But we're not using that one tonight. We're using a different one that had to do with sunshines. I think it's this one. We're using this piece of paper right here. And on the back is lots of sunshines. So this color is supposed to be so saffron, but honestly, uh, no, I'm sorry, Mango Melody. Um, but I think it looks more like a dark so saffron or crushed curry. I don't know. I could be wrong. So that's what we're using. And let me move things around. This is the card. Isn't that cute? Something to brighten our day in the middle of winter. <laughs> right? Um, so hi everybody that came in later. So our card base is actually Mango Melody because I thought that's what that was. It doesn't look like it on that side. This side looks okay with it, right? And actually, I can put that piece away. Um, so I got both these cards and then I just have some um, thin strips for inside like this. And then I had two little pieces of this paper left, like a, a piece across the bottom here or something. Um, so you can get two cards out of one of those sheets of paper. So I'm going to do something I don't usually do very often. I have done it once or twice. I'm going to take the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder and emboss the actual card front. Uh, I have done this once or twice, but um, I've been getting from my team people um, birthday cards all month. <laughs> and one of them did something like this. I'm like, oh, I haven't done that in a long time. I need to do that. It wasn't this card, but you know. So I'm going to use plate one and four. I'm going to turn around and move stuff off of here that I need for the next card. And find my plate four and run it through. Here we go. Okay, now you will get, doing it that way, unless you can flatten your card, you will get a little plain card here, but that's, I'm okay with that. <laughs> if you're not okay with that, flatten your card out. The problem is, you have to run the card in this, or the embossing folder in this way, right? So to do that, you can't. You can't get this. You may have to run it through again, and that wouldn't work if you had a, a different pattern. It would work for this to run it through again. I don't really suggest that. I just suggest living with that little crease there. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, thank you, honeybees. All right. So what we have here is a two and a half inch by... Five and a quarter inch you could do five and a half strip of the designer paper see and then we have a three inch instead of two and three quarter um, three inch by two and three quarter piece now you could emboss that too but because I embossed this I kind of wanted this plain you could go all the way to five and a, um, and a half inches with both of these instead of five and a quarter excuse me they're both five and a quarter by two and a half and by three. I'm going to glue them together and glue them down. I have to start earlier on my Thursday cards because I have so many ideas, but I also um, want to give you some fresh new things, right? But now I decided to do this 14 Valentine love cards in 14 days. <laughs> series in case anybody missed that now I'm gonna take my scissors I just have a tiny little overhang here not even an eighth or sixteenth of an inch I don't know sometimes I get that I just funny that way it probably wouldn't bother a lot of people but it bugged me and we'll put this down I use quite a bit of glue because and I'm gonna put it uh, maybe a little over a quarter inch from where the pattern text 
texture start because I need space. I want this off centered over here, right? And you'll notice I didn't use much, I didn't use any ribbon yet, did I? No, that's unusual for me. Now, because I have this big piece of Mango Melody, which is the largest scallop circle in the layering circles, and this is the second largest plain circle from the layering circles. Anyway, because I had a lot of Mango Melody and I had Pool Party, I thought I'd bring in the Magenta Madness that's in here for the sentiment just to give it make well first of all it's a brighter color and it shows up better but i didn't want too much mango melody right and this is the sentiment out of sunny sentiments from the annual catalog this is a really nice happy um sunny um sentiment stamp that I thought went really well with this new sunshine and rainbows paper. Now, I'm going to stand up because this is a little tight. I usually would stamp first. But I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. I think I got it. It'll do. It's, it's in there. Nothing's cut off that I see. Yay. Wait, what happened with, oh, what happened with food? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's glue that together, and then we'll put that up on dimensionals. Now, we don't have any Mango Melody ribbon, and we do have one Pool Party ribbon still, but I only have about three inches of that left. So, no bow or anything on that. The one I have left is the sheer Pool Party ribbon. But you could take white and use a Magenta Madness um, Stampin' Right and color it. Or you could use white twine and color it with your Stampin' Right, not Stampin' Right, excuse me, Stampin' Blends markers. And then you would have ribbon to match. Or you could color it with Pool Party if you don't have the Pool Party ribbons. Ribbon. There's only one now. We had another one, but it retired striped one, but it recently retired as of january 3rd but if it goes in the clearance rack i'm going to be using what i have because i really like that ribbon the striped pool party one and i still have some all right so this is just going to go right here and then we have sequins from artistry blooms they're in the annual catalog on page 143 and we have mango melody in there amazingly and i thought that would just add some more sparkle to it always need our sparkle right what 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 oh things getting discontinued okay got it yeah i know you you find something you're like i'm kind of going to do this backwards i'm going to put the bigger one here and a small one i have a lot of these uh two to use up they come in um these come in Calypso Coral, Mango Melody, Coastal Cabana, and Rich Razzleberry. Uh, that's the colors. And then what I did is I put one in each of the little suns that appeared here. Unfortunately, I only have one sun up here that, that is on this side of the paper that I didn't cover up. But I'll put it, I'll put the big, the big one up there and make that sparkle. And then I'll just put a couple other little ones around maybe one here on the pool party and if i can get a hold of it oops i had a hold of it fell off one up here there there we go and then on the inside i just put my usual uh half inch I do half inch or three quarter inch. This is a half inch because the piece of paper I had left uh, was one inch. So I just cut it in half. And I used one on the first card and one on this one. And then that will be our third of four cards. So I called it variety night because it really kind of is. I, the more I look at this card, the more I like it. And it's so easy. 
all of them tonight. None of them are really super hard. The hardest thing was fussy cutting on the second card. And that wasn't even that hard. And I don't like to fussy cut, as most of you know. So <laughs> it kind of hurts my hands a little bit. Okay, I don't have a person here to be my person. So if that person keeps bugging us, we'll, uh, I'll go on and report or remove them. Sorry about that. Let me stick these away. Before we get on to card number three, um, I mean four, excuse me. So that was the Sunny Sentiments with the Sunshine and Rainbows Celebration paper in the Celebration catalog, or brochure. All right, last card we're going to use Driving By and Slim Sayings and the Slim Card Dies and the Slim Card envelopes that we have now in the mini catalog this is in the mini catalog as a bundle it is a little bit pricey to get the dies especially but um if you have a big enough order you could get a 50 percent off item if not i'm sorry but you at least get free celebration items um it's a great set also this is a celebration item so if you bought these you could get you could either get this or maybe even the sunny sentiments or Hello, friend, or whatever. All right, let me show you the card that we're going to do. Here here it is. <laughs> All right. Isn't that cute? Now, I used the die as a stencil instead of, um, instead of die cutting it and putting it on here. I used it as a stencil with the blending brushes. Um, I also used the ribbon called Smoky Slay Textured Ribbon 7 8 Inch. It's a wider ribbon, and I just thought that kind of made it look like a, a road or something for the car. Right, they don't, I know. A lot of places don't. Um, I used the Hippo and Friends dies two of them. I don't know why I only have one out. Let me find the other one, actually. Here it is. Because we're going to need two of them. These are in the annual catalog, the Hippo and Friends dies. Um, there is a coordinating stamp set also. I don't have it, but you can find these on page 62 with that stamp set or in the back where the dies are. I really like the Hippo and Friends dies, but they're, they're one of the items that have been continued. Um, all right, so to do a slimline card like this and to fit in the envelopes, you need an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of paper. Um, this is eight and a half inches. So when you have your paper like this, you just cut it at seven inches. You put in your trimmer this way, extend the arm, cut it at seven inches, score it at three and a half. And that gives you your eight and a half by three and a half card base. Okay. Um, and the envelopes then are, let me read you, four and seven, three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. So these cards fit perfectly in there like that. And then you still have a nice chunk of paper left bigger than this that, um, you know, about the size of three and a half inches again, that you could use as a mat on another card or something. Okay, so let's get this going. Yeah, it is a good deal. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we can decide I have the same car or... We can do the little VW bug with presents on. Which one would you guys like? I use this little sporty car with the balloons on this one. But we could do the beetle if you'd rather. Let me know which of these two. There's also a VW bus. But I wanted to use one of these because this has balloons and this has presents on top. 
you guys have a choice. So I'll let you decide what you'd like to do. And while you're deciding, we're going to go ahead and stencil. Um, okay, I'm going to use my same scrap, so forgive me that it's dirty, but it is what it is. Now, you can use some washi and tape it down. The three and a half by eight and a half, I'm sorry, three and a half. <clears throat> This is three and a half by eight and a half. So this is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Okay. And it fits right in the die. I am actually going to tape the corners down and hope that it doesn't slide on me. I will also hold it down with my hand. Um, cause you don't want it sliding around, you know, <laughs> you like them both the gifts. Okay. We'll try the, we'll try the gifts, the slug bug. <laughs> We call them punch buggies. The original ones are punch buggies. And then the new VWs that are more wider and squattier. I don't even know if they have them anymore. Anyway, we call them squash buggies. Okay, my son and I do. All right, we're going to use Pool Party and Smoky Slate for this. I'm going to do Pool Party first. And I guess this is the one I use for... I have, my, I have them color-coded. But this one is sort of like greens and grays, and I need another brush. <laughs> Excuse me a sec. <coughs> Sorry. I've been having coughing fits today. I think the air, the heat, the dry air, you know. And I don't mind that it's a little darker in some than others. You could start off on your paper. But you're going through metal here, which is pretty thick. So, and you could die cut this first. And then use it as a stencil. But the edges are a little bit thin. Um, so I don't know if it's sturdy enough to hold it down for that. Um, I didn't try it. And even the little parts in here are a little thinner. So I thought, you know what? I'll just use the die as a stencil. And I'll save the cutouts I have for another another time originally i was going to use balmy blue but i grabbed the wrong color and started right on it so you know what i'll just use it <laughs> i'll just use the pool party like i did on the first card okay and then smoky slate at the bottom your parents both had my uh my son's father had a vw beetle and <laughs> it was it was we had trouble finding parts for it it was getting so bad like the heat only came out on one side and the driver's side back of the seat wouldn't stay up and i forget what happened but he finally had to trade it in for a reliable car but i think he later on got another one and it's funny it was yellow I can make this one yellow too. Anyway, um, it's funny because one of my neighbors sort of collects cars and I don't see him driving it much anymore, but he was driving a yellow beetle there for a while too, a neighbor down the end of the street. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. It always makes me wonder if it's the same one. <laughs> could you die cut it with a window sheet? You probably could. That's a good idea, honeybee. Um, I will show you what I mean though. Um, this is one I die cut and it's really sort of fra I have it stuck in here. You see how thin they are? In fact, this one is coming out. Even these are real thin. So even with window sheets, you could try it, but, um, I just think they're not wide enough and it might not hold up to doing this. So I don't know. It's worth a try. I try anything at least once. I have a dried up baby wipe. I'm going to just wipe it off while it's still taped down, which might bring up some of that color, but that's okay too. All right. Just don't want my, dry, my dye to be all blue and gray. Blue and gray. Those were my high school colors. Blue and gray. <laughs> 
I always thought they were boring when other high schools had nice bright, like, red and gold or some colors, you know. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So there is our piece. And then the next thing is, let's see how big this ribbon is. It's about uh, 10 and a half inches of the smoky slate ribbon. I just put it in here as a border between the two colors. This almost came out looking green. I must have had some green left on my brush or something. Lock it down with some temporary adhesive spray. Yeah. I don't know if I have that. I have glue. Yeah. Oops. Guess what? My seal just ran, ran out. All right. Let me open it and trash it. I'm not going to replace it right now. I have a seal plus open. I'll see if I can use that without tearing my paper. So that just pops open and your seal comes out. I need to clean my case before I put another one in. We'll see if I have another one. This is seal plus. They are a slightly different color on the refills and it has a little plus sign after it. All right, it's working. Okay. Sometimes, not so much on the white cardstock, but on um, the uh, colored cardstocks and black, especially. I find the Seal Plus a little too strong, and it actually tears my cardstock sometimes. I'm trying desperately not to put this down with the seal on the back onto my paper here because it'll stick to the paper I have laying down. I also don't want it too tight because you see it curled a little bit. But this is what's happening. There. So you want it to be snug, but not too snug. There we go. All right. There's my card base. A little bit of a mess here. All right. So let's go ahead and glue that down. I'm going to use wet glue. A black and gold what? Huh? Oh, that was your school colors. Black and gold, like a mustard gold. Yeah. Hmm. Because so I was going to say black and real gold would be cool. Shiny and sparkly and that would be cool. All right. So this is going here. And pretend that color looks like smoky slate instead of smoky slate mixed with green. <laughs> All right. Now I need a piece of white scrap. Do I have that here? This is for the inside. I think I just put a piece of plain white in. Let me let me look. Yeah, I didn't do any decorating on the inside. You could. Um, let's go ahead and glue that in so I don't lose that piece of white or accidentally use it for something else. <laughs> it's the same as the front layer, so it's three and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and you can stamp on it whatever you want. But I didn't do it this time. And since I didn't use designer paper, I don't really want to put designer paper in. And I use Smoky Slate because we have the envelopes that we have come in a pack that has soft succulent, five each. I didn't use them yet. Smoky Slate, five each, and the white, five each. And I just have a couple of each of those two colors left. And this is the inside design. I'm not going to put paper in to cover that this time. Uh, they open this way and slide in like this. So I'm going to put them this way. See, they fit really well. And that bulk on there, no problem. Right? And then seal up here. So those are the envelopes. All right, I need a piece of white cardstock to stamp our little VW. And then I thought I had, oh, I do. And we're also going to stamp our sentiment. Let's do that first, actually. And I did that actually in basic gray. You can do whatever you want. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. We're on our last card already. I'm doing pretty good on time here tonight. The fourth card. I'll recap at the end and also... Actually, it's good we're doing good on time because at the end, I want to actually literally open the box I got today 
with some new things in. I believe this is three quarter inch. Yes. Um, and I don't know. I'll cut it down some because on the card we made, this is what we made. Um, yeah, I don't know how long that is. Let's see. I'm going to probably cut about an inch off, so I'll go over this way a little bit, but I need to leave room for the punch we're going to use again there so that is basic gray which is a little darker than smoky slate and i thought it would be better for the sentiment let me trim about an inch off of this maybe three quarter inch yeah because then i'm going to put it in a punch all right and the punch is again the lovely labels and i really thought this fancy one looked sort of like these the tips of these so that's why i wanted to use this actually and and then i actually got it out and used it on the last card too the fancy one you have to kind of be careful lining it up in there that turned out pretty good i'm going to do both ends this time in the same side Oops. I'm going to leave it like that for now. We'll see if that's enough off of it. And now we have to stamp our VW Beetle. And I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black for that. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Maroon and white. That's not boring, though. I think maroon and white better than navy and gray. I don't know. I mean, it was navy and gray, too. It wasn't pretty blue. All right. Um, I might have to change the dye that I used, actually. We'll probably use a different one because this is a different shaped car. Um, so, but there's still some in Hippo and Friends that I think we can use. Let me just see something. These were the original ones. You know what? It'll still work. It'll still work. Yay! All right. What color do you want your beetle to be? <laughs> your beetle bug. I'm going to start on the tires while you guys think about it. And the and the fenders here. Just remember it has to coordinate with pool party and greenish looking smoky slate <laughs> all right i'm using light smoky slate for the fenders and the inner wheel cases red okay i like that idea and i'm using dark smoky slate for the outer part of the tire and I'm assuming the other part, I'm leaving it white like it's a white, white wall tire. Do they still make those? I don't even know. Probably not. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do red. Let's see what color red we want to use. Just real red, I think. Nope, that's cherry cobbler. A red. I don't know if I've ever seen a red VW. I'm going to outline it in dark, real red. Green, yellow, aches. <laughs> uh... Andrask, I have no idea what you're saying, so I'm sorry. If you don't want to watch card making, eeks. <laughs> but I don't have my um, my moderator tonight. And I'm not going to take the time to bother with it right now unless it gets really bad. Let's see. Eh. 
Well, I guess I'll do this part too. And the rest I'm really just going to color in with the light real red. Because you know, cars are usually all either one color or in the old days, some had wood paneling, but not typically the beetles. The beetle bugs. We can use the green and yellow on some of the presents. So don't fear those who wanted that. I'm going to draw the dark line here. Okay. Um, before we do that, these windows I'm going to do in light pool party. Alrighty. I'm going to use, because this is kind of a small car, I'm going to use the, the nib part of the light real red. What's that? Oh, Herbie. Yeah, that's right. The love bug. Herbie. I loved that movie when I was young. <laughs> young. Actually, I loved it even when my kids were young. Which then they're 12 years apart. So I don't know if my son saw it. I, I know my daughter did. Okay, so there's our red bug. Now we wanted some yellow and green. We can do them on the presents. And maybe some other color too. So we have daffodil delight, I think. I hope. Yep. And we wanted a green. Let's use instead of a green, let's use light Bermuda Bay. And what other color? I might even use a pink, like a light magenta madness. But I think I'll put the Bermuda Bay in this polka dot one. And I'm not going to worry about shading and all that stuff on these presents. I'm just not. <laughs> if you want to, you go right ahead. And then we'll do yellow. And then we'll do Magenta Madness. Ah, I need one more color. And maybe a blue of some sort. Let's see. Um, hmm. <laughs> How about pale papaya dark? <laughs> All this time watching, I thought you just had. Oh, no, I have a daughter, but she's 12 years older than my son. And she's been out of the house for a long time. I have two grandchildren. Uh, one is graduating from high school this year. Um, with any luck with this whole mess of a pandemic we have. Um, and the other one is uh not nine i think she just turned nine in december all right so let's see if we can do this with this pretty easy coloring i think it'll work but i'm going to use tape to hold it down just to be sure just some washi tape or if you have the purple tape you can but again i'd rub it on your skin first or something all right, I'll be right back. We're going to actually have to do this in the opposite direction because the car is going the other way. So we'll put the happy birthday over here and the car over here this time. I think the van and the beetle in the driving by are going in the same direction and the 
sports car is going the other way, or maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> Two of them are going the same way, and the other one isn't. And then, actually, I need a piece of hmm, pool party, which I thought I had out, but you see that actually even tore the paper right there, taking that off, and it was used already once, so you got to be really careful with your tape. I'm going to throw them in the garbage. The garbage. Gentle, 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 gentle. There we go. Um, so that's going to go here. But I want a piece of pool party. Which I thought I had out. Guess not. All right. Here's my scraps of pool party. And with my luck, I probably don't have one big enough. So... We'll use this piece, which is big enough to be a card base, but oh well. <laughs> you do tend to zone out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I understand. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate that. Yes, like and share. I'd really like this to build up again in viewership. And um, what that's one of the reasons I'm doing the daily valentine love cards and the other reason is because i have so much valentine love paper and stamps that i haven't used enough yet that i really felt like i needed to do something like that okay so there is our die cut and now again another easy card right and we're going to just glue this together and then you know Put it up on dimensionals, but we're going to put our happy birthday up on dimensionals first. Cute car. And we got all the colors that were requested in it, I think. Well, Bermuda Bay has to, has to be the green. And the Hippo and Friends dies, which I'm going to put away so I don't lose them. There's one smaller one, too, in that shape that we didn't use. And if that hadn't worked, we would have used this shape for the VW, but it worked, so we're good. Okay, now we need dimensionals. Dimensionals. I really like dimensionals. <laughs> uh, thank you for the thumbs ups, yes. All right, I must have them out somewhere. Do I have them out? These are the minis. Seriously, I lost my dimensionals. <sighs> what am I going to do about me? <laughs> All right, hang on. I either threw them in here. Here they are. Nope, that's not them. I don't know where my dimensionals went. I got to get a different sheet of them out. And I think I have an open pack. And then I'll find them two seconds later, but that's okay. Yes, there is another one. I stock up on dimensionals. Although I thought I stocked up, but I was watching my upline actually the other day. And she's like, I stocked up on 50 packs of dimensionals. I'm like, are you kidding me? They'll last her a good while, but she's really active. So I don't know. <laughs> I hope I didn't throw them out by mistake. If I did, I'll find them. No worries. I'm actually going to put two more in here, like here and here, just to make sure. Okay. Putting them back in the drawer. You're my witness. Along with the minis. Okay. So we had to put this over on this side this time. And this is going to go over here. And then we'll do our bling. So stay with me, guys, because I have an unboxing at the end. And I'll recap all the cards. Let me put this straight so I sort of get it straight. And then we'll do these as well. And put that right up here. And then I use the Holiday Rhinestones in Coastal Cabana. 
for our bling on this. Actually, did I use that on this one? Yes. And I have four of them left, but we'll use a couple of them here and a little one over here. I might just do an odd number and use them up. Mm. Do, do, do. Which way do I want? I'll just put one there and then I'll stick one down here in this ugly smoky slate slash green. <laughs> anyway, those are the holiday rhinestone basic jewels. Number 150457, they're in the annual catalog with Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, Shaded Spruce, Cherry Cobbler, and Pumpkin Pie in them. Alrighty, and the inside I didn't do anything on, and I'm not going to. You could put another stamp of a car in there or something if you wanted to. And then these are the envelopes. So we have two birthday cards. Ta-da! Very cute. You could also use, well, real red rhinestones probably won't go. It would go with the car, but not really the back of the card. Um, you know, the background of the card, which we stenciled. So that's card four. Here's card three. We put these together so we can see them and get this out of the way. Card three. Card one and card two. Let me know what your favorite is. And now... Uh, I have to put a couple things away here real quick because I'm out of room. And then we'll get the box out and do a little unboxing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. We have some new release product that I ordered. It came today. And, um, and some, my last bit of, um, the catalog order. I only used the happy birthday out of Slim Saying so far. There we go. But that's a nice set too in the mini catalog. And driving by, a cute, of course, is adorable. And that's from Celebration, free with a $50 purchase only through February 28th. So don't miss out on that. And did I put these away? Oh, I didn't put them away. Anyway, I'll put the rest of these away later. Amazing Silhouettes and Special Moments is a celebration stamp set for free with $100 purchase. And that's, and this goes up here. All right, now I have a path I can get to the box. <laughs> and it literally came today a couple hours before the live. But as you can see, I didn't even cut it open. It has a little smush in it. And I don't know why it, it came UPS Sure Post, which meant it goes to the post office instead of coming right from UPS. But that's how it came. I really wish they wouldn't do that with boxes this size because UPS has been a little more reliable than USPS around here lately. Um, I have another, just a small package that will fit in my mailbox coming from somewhere else for my jewelry side. Should have been here about three days ago, but it <laughs> took a few wrong turns. All right, let me take this off the desk. Ugh. Leave the cards there for a minute. And all kinds of bubble wrap. Mm. Okay, there's my packing slip. Move over. And I don't know if I'm going to go in any particular order. Well, this you've already seen. This is a celebration item. So I can put that somewhere. Okay. Let me get the stuff that's new release. Another glue. Always need glue, right? I got myself a stamp and scrub. I have some chamois, but I decided to try out the scrub. I never had it before. And some people said that's better for when you're using, um, um, you know what? I'm just going to get everything out and then I'll have to throw everything back in the box. But I, the problem is I don't know where to put the box. This is part of a new item. This is part of a new item. <laughs> 
Well, these are things in the catalog that I just got. Ooh, I got another driving by. That'll become a giveaway to at some point. This is a catalog item. <laughs> See what else is in here. Oh, I got another special moment. Okay. And that one too. And a ribbon. Some ribbon. Another pack of butterflies because I love those things. I only have one originally. That we've already seen. And this we've already seen. But I think I have some. Okay, these are the new ones I haven't seen yet. All right. All right, get rid of the box. I have to throw it further away because there's no room. Put these back in it. Oops. Let me just go back in there. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, where to start? Where to start? Oh, sorry for the mess. Red rubber stamps? Okay. Um, Versamark is what I Versamark and um, stays on is what I've heard it's really good for too. All right, I need to move the cards now. I'm gonna put the butterflies away because we don't need them. Move the cards out of the way. So I got these little stars, resin stars embellishments. I think these went with the sports theme thing in the mini catalog. They're item one five eight one four four. And it looks like crushed curry, evening evergreen, night of navy, or maybe misty moonlight and real red. But I could be wrong on those colors. I'm sure they're in the catalog. But I like the stars, so I got them. And I got this evening evergreen uh, window pane. I don't know that we've had a window pane ribbon before, but I thought it was kind of cool. And this is what it looks like. And I happen to have an extra thing. Isn't that pretty? I think that'll make really pretty bows or just, um, I don't know if you can even see it after with all this stuff piled up. Oops. Um, there. That might be better. I think that's really pretty and it's soft. Um, it is called Window Pane Check Ribbon 3H Ends evening evergreen but it's evening evergreen and white and then this is a cotton ribbon combo pack and i think they're in petal pink and misty moonlight i'm not going to open those right now but i'm pretty sure and it's um it's thinner it's uh, it doesn't say on here but it looks to be about maybe a quarter inch wide which would be really nice for tying bows and it looks very soft like it'll be good for tying bows too dsp last yep doing the dsp last because i needed i need to get this stuff off my desk first anyway all right so i had some dies come out here let me see if i can match them up oops let me put these cards away too all right usually i um go through this stuff and take these out this has to be the dies garden dies are what it's called that go with the home and garden and i like this and i think this will go good with um there's another plant thing uh and the plentiful plants and some of the plant kind of papers we have but there's dies for these tools it reminded me of my dad. He was a handy kind of guy. Wasn't really a gardener. That was more mom, but um, I don't know. For some reason, the ladder and stuff reminded me of him. And it's a Father's Day or just birthday or whatever. It has a little trowel and these little, I call them loppers. I don't know what the right name is. <laughs> Shears or something. Shovel. Some little grass or something here. A rake. A board that's kind of cool i didn't see that before i have no idea what that is i'll have to check it out later maybe stones to go on the shovel thing i don't know anyway i thought it was really kind of cool yeah. 
so I had to get that. I don't really have a whole lot of Father's Day ones, except in those special moments and stuff has Father's Day sentiments. And I have like the ocean, the sailing, sailing ones, but I've used them so many times now, you know. So that's the first one I got that I didn't have. And then this is a standalone stamp set called Easter Friends. I forgot to order it the first time, or maybe I took it off because I had too much in my cart already the first time. But this is adorable. I love this bunny, Chicky and Ducky. And it's a happy Easter. May your days blossom with joy and happiness. Sending warm and happy wishes this spring and my friend. And then a little bit of grass. I think that's going to be adorable for Easter. I could not pass that up. Then I wasn't going to get this, but I gave in and got it anyway. Flowering tulips and the tulips dies. They're really pretty. And the paper I got goes with that and the next set. Um... And I like the fonts on this. Just thinking of you today. Let today be the start of something new. Love you so much. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. And a happy Mother's Day. And a, you are so thoughtful. Thank you. I kind of like that. I'll have to look up and see what. If, I'm sure it goes with the layering circles dies. But I don't know if it goes with others or not. Let's see what the dies now, this is the one where the dies, there's like lots of little parts, sort of like we have with the pansies and stuff. But you also have this field of tulips, some little design that cuts out of paper. I don't know. I will definitely have to play with this and let you know. And that might not be until, um, honestly, in late February or maybe early March. I don't know yet. When is Mother's Day? April? I think April. This one was on my list to get for sure. I wanted the windmill so bad. Now the stamp there, this is photopolymer. This is also, and that's a, this, this windmill looks a lot smaller than what I remember seeing in the catalog. So, Either I looked at it wrong or the dies are bigger. So let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't been looking at com comments. That window ribbon would go well with the lattice. Yes, maybe if I use that color. Yeah, men's cards, right? Home and garden is a good one. And actually, a lot of women are gardeners too. So I could interchange the sentiment with different things. The little animals are cute. Yes, they are. They're very cute. I couldn't pass them up. Okay, so this is a little bit bigger than this. <laughs> now, this is at 80%, but even still, this windmill for stamping is smaller than that one. I thought so. And these these are what I, I wanted, too. Um, they're like different color tulips fields and things. And then this is like a little border strip of... Lee, it's it's just like um can't just I can't explain it looks like that <laughs> and there's some clouds oh look there's a bicycle in here too I don't remember seeing that anyway here's the windmill here's the one that cuts out from the stamp and then these are a standalone different one with a big windmill thing that's what I got it for. My background is actually German Dutch. So um, I say German Dutch and not just Dutch because my grandfather used to speak with the Pennsylvania Dutch who are actually German. Um, so I say German Dutch. I've heard I'm from mostly the Black, uh, Black Hills something black forest black forest in germany okay so i got those they're part of the bundle i did get the paper which i'll show you at the end now this is a pre-order and all of these are new stamp and blends and the only thing that's going to carry over of this to the new annual catalog is the skin tone stamp and blends and I have to leave them in the bags because right now my Stampin' Blend container is full. I have to figure out. But we have um, 
trying to see where they have the colors. Okay, this is huh, SU100. They're not going to tell us colors. Anyway, I think they said light, medium light, medium, medium dark, and dark. And it's not a light and dark within the dark or a light and dark within the light. It's two different tones of dark and light and medium light and medium. So there's one that's more like a pinkish a pinkish tone to it, if you can see, and one that's more a peachy tone, if, if that makes sense. So we have skin tones now rather than I was always using ivory or petal pink light and dark or crumb cake or bronze mostly i used bronze for the hair and stuff though but these were supposed to be our skin tones before which just wasn't enough to cut it so i'm happy happy oops sorry happy happy to have that it'll fit on an a2 card it's just going to be it'll take up a lot of the card let me show you one in the catalog I'm pretty sure it'll fit on there. And if not, it'll definitely fit on the four by sixes that we have now. So let me find it in here. Probably towards the beginning. It's what's it called? Tulip fields. Here it is. It's on page. You see, actually, here's an example right here. Right there. That looks like an A2 to me because all these are A2. So it should fit on an A2. It just takes up a good part of the card. Okay. Um, okay. So this is available to you guys, all of this, um, February, starting in February. And it's a, it's like a special for the stamp set, the dies and the paper, which I'll show you in a minute. It has to do with coming together as one human race, basically, as opposed to, you know, all the prejudices and biases and all that spread love spread kindness and i really like that um and actually i don't know if you guys listen to or follow the boy group called bts from south korea but they are all about loving yourself love others and everything and they always do that at the end of their concerts and stuff i've never been to their concert but i've watched them and i've seen that and then there's the pinky also um love symbol there so i thought this was really cool that stampin up was doing this and let's look at the dies and also when i was in i can't remember i think it was middle school but it might have been ninth grade we did linoleum block carvings and i had done some with fists and hands all on the, it was just hands and fists on a block and this kind of reminded me of that for some reason i don't know all right so we have dies to cut out these which is really cool and then this says you matter and i can't read upside down sorry i'm gonna forget <laughs> here for you here for you so i'm here for you it doesn't say I'm, but it has here for you. And you matter, which is really important these days. There's a lot of people right now, especially, who are going through a tough time because of this pandemic and their side impacts of that. And then there's paper, which is all black and white to be colored in. I, I did not get to see a whole lot of that, so let's open that up don't really need more paper but I thought it was kind of cool <laughs> yeah the skin skin tone colors are really cool makes you think of the Benetton ads see I don't watch TV so I haven't seen that pinky swear I know that's cute yeah all right, let's look at this paper together. And then I have 12 by 12 papers to show you too for, that matches some of the other stuff. Okay, so this is one, all the hands reaching. You know, you could cut it in half here and make a mini slimline card if you wanted to. And then the other side is dots and dashes, Morse code kind of thing. Uh, this one, I mean, you can use this paper for anything really. This has like leaves 
and big uneven ink blobs <laughs> or polka dots but they're really big and this is like a eye teaser shape puzzle i have to switch it because my camera doesn't like those this one i like too almost like a lattice or something and then this is white with black leaves you could color or not or color some and not others this i like this was similar to what i did on my linoleum block way back when all the hands holding each other's wrists interlocked together and that would make four um three by three cards from one sheet of paper but you get like four sheets of each and the other side is this have you made 15 cards already wow wow i don't know what took mine so long to get. i didn't i didn't uh do express shipping i love this the pinky one with the heart above it that's so cute and look little hearts oh gosh hmm maybe i'll be using this in one of my valentine shows because i have two days that i didn't do and a couple of them i think i was thinking of switching out anyway then this one with this and then this is also leaves although if you look at it long enough it kind of looks like lips and eyes like two eyes and a lip <laughs> and then a window pane kind of thing so the paper and um, i think this is going to be good february until oh help me i forget do you know honeybees does it end when the annual goes live or does it end? Yes, I think it does, doesn't it? Um, because they said the only thing is carrying over to the annual. So good until probably 2 May. And then this. And then this is black with white hearts. That'll be nice for Valentine's or any kind of love thing. And oops, the other side of that one is dots with almost like a linen cloth look on the dots but it's there's no texture and then stripes black and white stripes with like a scallop feathery scallop kind of thing and then small checks this is the last one with this really like this paper as well so that is the promotion starting in February and you can get just the paper or just these or just the bundle or whatever you would like, but, uh, or all of it as one kind of a suite kind of thing. But, um, these three items are not carrying over only to the annual only these will carry over i'm really most excited for these but i love this too so look forward to seeing some things for that and then lastly um i got two other papers that i hadn't done this goes with the crane of fortune and at first i thought yeah it might be kind of boring but i and the more i saw it the more i thought i'd like it sorry for the noise the dyes are while supplies last. Thank you. Okay. Oh no, Heather. I don't think I could get a tattoo because I'm chicken <laughs> and I'm old. So my skin's already starting to wrinkle where I don't want it to. So this piece is really pretty. Ooh, there's the reverse. And I did get the crane. I like kind of Japanesey things i don't have anything much like that in my home but i like the look of it this is the a crane with gold foiling and then this is pretty on the other side this is calypso coral i can't remember all the colors um might be i, I don't know i'm not i'm not gonna guess this looks like soft succulent and evening evergreen but the background color sort of looks like sahara sand or i think it's too light for crumb cake might be crumb cake in here and sahara sand in the background i'm not positive anyway you know what i'll flip it over at the end and tell you because it's on the back 
Um, so this is just could be used for anything. It's like a modeled look with the gold coiling. Really beautiful. Yeah. And this, I had bought everything pretty much but the paper. Ooh, these are really pretty too. Love those. And I think that flower is in the stamp set too. That's gorgeous. And this is, uh, is this a ginkgo leaf? Ooh, something just fell. Sorry. <laughs> it is beautiful. And this is like a little scene in itself. You could make some small cards with it it's they're kind of angled down funny so it'd be hard to cut them but you might be able to actually just take a die and die cut individual ones out but i'd probably mostly use this side anyway really gorgeous 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 paper i'm so glad i got this i really am and it'd be really nice for like anniversary or wedding cards too not that I know anybody is getting married or having, well, I could use it for anniversary for my daughter. That's pretty, too, with the clouds and the cranes flying up in the, in the sky. And then this is the last one. And it's those little, we've had that before, those little, I don't know what they're called. They're like flowery. We've had them for winter before. Um, and then this almost looks like hay or something, you know, like leaves. Anyway, very pretty. So the colors, well, I might have lied about that. I don't see the sheet that would have that on. Oh, it's on the wrapper. Oh, I wish they didn't do that. Hang on. Things are falling. Let me get the paper up here first. <laughs> I really wish they wouldn't do that because that means how I have to do that is I have to I probably have to get more paper holders and then I cut this out. So it's basic black calypso coral crumb cake, evening evergreen, smoky slate, and soft succulent. So I guess that one was crumb cake, but it must have been two different shades of it. All right, let me put this somewhere. I don't know where to go with everything. I have one more paper to show you. And it's the Tulips Flowering Fields 12 by 12 Designer Series Paper. This is beautiful paper, too. It's not specialty. The other one was specialty because it had gold on it. The colors in this are Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, which is that purple, um, Highland Heather, which is also purple, right, Heather? Mango Melody, Pear Pizzazz, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Rich Razzleberry, Soft Succulent, and So Saffron. So if you can't find a color in there that you like, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> this is what I wish they had in all the packs, this paper here. Okay. Um, oh, that's gorgeous right there. Love it. And there's the other side, which can be used for anything. But I really like this side. This is gorgeous, too, with the purples. Rich Razzleberry and Highland Heather and Fresh Freezer together. There's the reverse of that one. And here we have our Calypso Coral and So Saffron, mostly. This has that same little design, like a border that's in the, I think in the windmill stamp set. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the other side. And then this is Poppy Parade and something. And here's the other side, clouds. Kind of funny to have clouds in orange, but you know, sunrise, sunset time, right? Oh, I like this one better, actually, because I like the angle of this, but these, for some reason, the flowers seem smaller. I kind of like the smallness of them. That's just me. And then there's your greens with a grid. Pictures of Rotterdam, maybe. Yeah. And this is a beautiful piece, too, with the pinks and whites and reds. These look like oil painting. 
Somebody probably oil painted it. And, ooh, that's pretty. That guy's pretty. Ugh. Love it. Love, love. I'm going to have trouble cutting into some of these, though. <laughs> no, I'm getting better about that. I'm actually cutting into stuff now. So, yay. So, that is my little haul. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you liked all the cards and all the goodies. That's my final purchase, unless they come up with some other special I have to have. Um, hopefully till March when we can pre-order for the annual catalog. And I may have to wait actually till April and not pre-order because I have a lot to use between now and then. Anyway, if anybody would like to order in the month of January for less than $150, please use this host code. That's if you're in the United States, don't already have another demonstrator or aren't a demonstrator already. Um, thank you, Clay. Thanks, Cindy. And there's our troll again. Hi, Renee. We're just finishing up on... Um, these were the cards. Well, these were three of them. And this, these were the other. This is the one we did. Cute, cute, right? Slimline. And these are all A2. Uh, these two were the abstract, amazing silhouettes, excuse me. This was using the sunshine and rainbow paper, but with the sunny sentiments from the annual catalog and then this used a celebration driving by stamp set with um, slimline sayings which is in the mini and the die from the slimline that I used as a stencil and the envelopes from the mini catalog to put these in which are really nice sturdy envelopes they go like that all right everybody I am going to get off of here I'm thinking I'm spending tomorrow cleaning my room. Thank you, Heather, for coming by. I hope your arm starts, stops itching. And, um, yeah, hope everything goes well. It's not so pretty to look at. It's just gray envelopes, huh? <laughs> so, anyway, that's all, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm going to get off and have a great evening. It is now 840, so not too bad on timing, even with the share. All right, everyone. Bye. Let me put my little thing in. Hugs, love, and peace. I really do mean that, everybody. Hugs and love to everybody and peace to everyone in the whole world, <laughs> which I know is impossible, but oh well. Bye. Thank you.